Hello everybody. Let's continue our lesson Mathematics Year 1 with the subtopic of addition of money. And you're going to continue this lesson with me, your teacher, and my name is Amira. I would like to say welcome to all of you for this class. Please be ready. Set up your study space and be ready. Turn to page 22 and 23 of Mathematics Activity Book Part 2. Please set up your study space and be ready now. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to do addition of money. You should be able to do addition of money. Before we begin our lesson, let's do some quick quiz. You're going to look at the question. You're going to count the question to get the answer. Are you ready? Let's start now. Look at the question. 6 plus 7. Count now. Now, let's check the answer. The answer is 13. Well done if you get the answer correctly. Now, let's move to the next question. 7 plus 7. Quickly count. Let's check the answer. The answer is 14. Good job if you get the answer correctly. Next question. 8 plus 6. Let's check the answer. The answer is also 14. Good job. Next. 16 plus 7. Let's check the answer. The answer is 23. Well done if you get the answer correctly. Now, are you ready for the last question? Let's look at the last question. 18 plus 5. Now, let's look at the answer. The answer is 23. So, well done girls if you get the answer all correct for all the questions. Now, let's move to our lesson for today. You're going to read the question together and we're going to look at the pictures first. Look at here. We have eraser and we have a pencil. The eraser price is 30 cents and the pencil price is 35 cents. You will need to do add for two price of two items. Awak kena buat add untuk dua barang. Two items. So, here, add means addition. Now, let's look again at the items do we have here. We have 30 cent of eraser and 35 cent of a pencil. So, to do Addition, you must do vertical form. We write 30 cent on the top, 35 cent at the bottom. And we draw the lines. The vertical lines separate between place value 1s and place value 10s. And we do horizontal lines for the answer section. 
kita buat tiga garisan. Garisan pertama, garisan berdiri yang mengasingkan place value ones and place value tens. Dan dua garisan melintang ataupun dua garisan berbaring. Dua garisan berbaring itu untuk bahagian jawapan. Please always bear in mind you need to write the number first then only you draw the lines. Mesti ingat tulis nombor dulu baru buat garisan. Alright. So now let's do the counting. We're going to start to find the answer for place value ones first. We have here 0 and 5. 0 you put at your mouth and 5 you put at your fingers. We do count on 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. When you get the answer 5, you write the answer 5 in the answer section at the bottom there. Then we move to place value tens. For place value tens, we have number 3 on the top and another number 3 at the bottom. So, for this one, we will do count on also. Number, the first number 3 you put at your mouth, the second number 3 you put at your fingers and we do count on. 3, 4, 5, 6. When you get the answer 6, you write 6 at the bottom at the answer section there. Now, for this one, this is addition of money. So, you don't forget to write sin because you do addition for coins. So, from the top, we already write sin, sin, and don't forget to write sin at the answer section. This is very important. You must write sin in the answer section because this is addition of money. Now, this is the example of 65 sin in coins. This is how it lo looks like. You will need one pieces of 50 sin, one pieces of 10 sin, and one pieces of 5 sin. All together, we have 65 sin here. 65 sin can also be represent, represent by 3 pieces of 20 sin and 1 pieces of 5 sin. I repeat, 65 sin can also be represented by using 3 pieces of 20 sin and 1 piece of 5 sin. 65 sin ni kita boleh tunjuk dia macam ni kalau guna duit shilik. 3 keping duit 20 sin dan 1 keping duit 5 sin. 65 sin can also be represented like this. We have 6 pieces of 10 sin and 1 piece of 5 sin. There are many ways to represent 65 sin. These are some of the way we can represent 65 sin. Ada banyak cara untuk tunjuk 65 sin guna duit shilling. Tapi ini antaranya. Untuk 65 sin tersebut. Alright, now let's move to the next example. Look at the picture we have here. We have a picture of a comb and we have a picture of a toothbrush. The comb price is RM1 and the toothbrush price RM2. So, we need to do addition because this is, we are going to learn addition of money. So, how to do this one? This is RM1 and RM2. So, this is how you are going to write it. You write RM1 on the top and you write RM2 at the bottom and we draw the lines. We can still draw the vertical line to separate between RM and the number 1 and 2. Okay. 
So you look carefully how I do the vertical form for RM. And for this one, we don't have any place value 10. We only have place value 1 because the number is only 1. So we have place value 1 only. Dekat sini, dia tak ada place value 10. Dia ada place value 1 sahaja. So garisan yang berdiri tu, I draw the garisan berdiri untuk separate. I draw the vertical line to separate untuk asingkan RM dengan nombor. I want to separate between RM and the numbers. Now, we just do the counting 1 and 2. 1 and 2, you will get 3. So for this one, as usual, don't forget to write RM because this is addition of money. So it's very important for you to write the unit. If the unit is RM, you write RM. If the unit is SIN, you write SIN. Right? Now I'm going to show you this is how we represent RM3 in notes. We can represent RM3 using three pieces of one ringgit. RM3 can be also be written like this, three ringgit. You can choose either one, whether you want to write RM3 or, R, or three ringgit. Now look at this one. You can also refer to your mathematic activity book that I mentioned just now. We have this one question of Abacus question. As you can see here, we have one bit bring up to the middle. Satu mani dibawa ke atas di garisan tengah-tengah. That one pieces of bits from the bottom represent one. It has the value of one. Now, beside it, to the left, we move to the left. Kita bergerak ke, I mean, we move to the right. Okay. From left to right. Daripada kanan ke, daripada kiri ke kanan. Now, that one have no bits. So, it has zero value. So, this is actually the value of the abacus now. It is one zero. One zero. For this case, this is money topic. So, this means we have 10. 10 sin. 1 0 means 10. So, 10 sin. And the next picture of the abacus, two more bits are bring up and one bit from the top bring to the middle, bring down to the middle. The bit at the bottom has the value of 5. Right? The bit at the bottom has the value of 5 once it brings to the middle. Manik yang atas tu, kalau dia bawa sahaja ke tengah, dia mempunyai nilai 5. Manik sebelah bawah, satu manik, nilai dia 1. Kalau dua manik, nilai dia 2. So, satu manik daripada atas dia bawa ke tengah, itu lima. Dan dua manik dia bawa ke tengah, dia nilai dia dua. So, tadi mula-mula dia bawa satu. First, it bring one bit only to the middle. Now, it bring up two from the bottom and one from the top. So, this means... 5 and, five and 2, 5 and 2 means 7. Okay, it bring the value of 7 to the middle. So this means it add, add with 7, 0. 7 and 0, 70. It add with 7, 0. So it will become, finally we will get the value of 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 and 0 means 80. So this is how the equation look like. This is how the equation look like. The first one is 10. And then the second one, it plus. Plus with 7, 0. And finally, we get the answer 8, 0. Or we can call it 80.
sin. That is the equation for the abacus and this is how we are going to write it in vertical form. We write number 10 on the top as the number 10 is the first number. So we write number 10 and the second number is 70 sin. So we write 70 and 80 sin is the answer. So we write 80 sin in the answer section. Don't forget to draw the lines correctly. For this one, the line, vertical line, to separate place value 1 and place value 10. Garisan tengah tu, kita buat untuk asingkan 10 dengan 1. Dan jangan lupa untuk tulis sin. Don't forget to write sin. S-E-N sin for Malaysia coins. Right? So this is how we represent 80 sen in coins. We can use one piece of 50 sen, one piece of 20 sen, one piece of 10 sen. All together we have 80 sen. We can also represent 80 sen using this one. Four pieces of 20 sen. There are many ways to represent 80 sen, but these are of uh, some of the way. Ada banyak cara untuk tunjukkan 80 sen guna duit shilling, tapi ini antara caranya. Ini uh, yang teacher tunjuk ni, some of the way. So, for today's main fast, you need to do all questions on page 22 and 23 of Mathematics Activity Book Part 2 and please submit this task by 5 p.m. today. Try your best to submit this task by 5 p.m. today in Google Classroom. Please try to submit in Google Classroom and for additional tasks, no additional task for today. There is no additional task for today. Reminder, always do your mathematics counting in vertical form and do all techniques needed when you do your counting. Alright, good luck. So that's, that's all for today. Thank you for joining today's class. You may refer to your Google Classroom for further instructions. Goodbye. See you next time.